All right, hi friends, welcome you all to sequence and series part one. Let's learn about some key series. For example, linear series from all the numbers from one to n. If we add all the natural numbers, we add the sum is n into n plus one by two. Very, very simply, if I add all the numbers till 10, what is the number? 10 into 11 upon two, right? Which is 55. In the square series, if I add the squares of all the natural numbers till n, that becomes n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. So 1 square, 2 square till 10 square, that becomes 10 into 11 into 21 upon 6. Now this is 3, 7, 3, 2, this is 5, this again becomes 35, 3, 5, 3, 5 becomes 385. Right. Similarly, the cube series sum of all the cubes of natural numbers till n becomes n into n plus 1 upon 2 whole square. Right. So if you take a very simple example, you know, the example can be, let's say 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube till 10 cube. So you know that n into n plus 1 by 2 is going to be 55. So this becomes 55 square. How do you calculate 55 square? Just try 25, 5 into 6 is 30. So 30, 25. Now let's try and apply this. So what is there to learn here? These are series, we can memorize them. So where is the learning part? The learning part is creating general terms and then finding the sum. Let's take a very simple example here. I have 5 into 9, 9 into 13, 13 into 17 going on till 101 to 105. The key to finding answers to series questions is creating general terms. Have a close look at this number. This number is 4 into n plus 1 into 4 n plus 5. And the more you create the general terms, the better you get at creating it. So 4 n plus 1 into 4 n plus 5. How do I come? How do I come to know this? If I put n is equal to 1, which is the first term, what happens? n becomes 1, so this becomes 5, and this becomes 9. So 5 into 9, right? Similarly, if you put n is equal to 2, what happens? 4 into 2 plus 1, 9. 4 into 2 plus 5, 13. So 9 into 13, that's the second term. Once the general term has been calculated, all I have to do is find out the sum. So the first term, n is equal to 1. What is this term? 4 into 25 plus 1 plus 5. So there are 25 terms in this series. So I have to sum this up till 25. Now, what is this? This is 16 n square 4 n. So this is 20 plus this is 4, 24 n plus 5. I have to sum it all up. So I have to sum it all up till uh, 25 from n is equal to 1. Now 16 into what is the sum of n square from n is equal to 1 to 25. Similarly, 24 sum of n, n is equal to 1 to 25 and I have 5 into sum of 1 and 1 to 25. Now think about it. This is nothing but summation of n. This is nothing but summation of n square and this is nothing but summation of n cube. 16 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. Summation of n square. Here I have 24 into summation of n which is n into n plus 1 upon 2 and finally you add 1 n times, what will be the answer? n. So here 5 into n. All we have to do is put n is equal to 25. What's a faster way of solving this question? Let's see. This is 16 into 25 into 26 into 51 by 6. This is 24 upon 2 into 25 into 26 plus 5 into 25. Now think about this. This is 8 times 3 times. This is 17 times. 8 into 25, this will have two zeros. 12 into 25 into 26. Now think about it, this will also have two zeros. So therefore, last two digits must come from here, 5 into 25. Last two digits must be 25. The answer is answer option A. We'll come back with second part. Thank you so much for joining in. God bless you all. Take care.